fucking down Everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me up, I'm putting it down, you picking it up Checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck Go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune Common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch, I'm one of the horsemen I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement Giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my prime It's a showdown in double A. The Raleigh Egypt Pharaohs taking on Tresman. And the Pharaohs, well, they say they are locked, loaded, and ready. Not talking Smith and Wesson. And they are ready for the playoffs. But the question is, can they get the job done versus Tresman? Jalen Brown and the Bears have more to say. Let's open it up and see what happens in this one. First quarter, let's start it off the right way. Knockdown three-point jumper. Quintavious Bailey going to wipe his nose, needing a little tissue on that one. But on the defensive end, the Pharaohs doing work as well, getting two back-to-back -back blocks. But the next play down, here comes Tresman. A slam dunk by Chris Smith. He gets the bucket. He sent me a message on IG. Yeah, young fella, we got you. Pull up right there inside the paint, making that extra pass to the guard down low who was wide open and Sean Williams, he gets that bucket. And then fast break for Diafonte Williams. Won't you walk off and show him what you do then, young fella? The ultimate dunk of the night. Comes from the point guard. He's a small guy, but he's got hops like a kangaroo. The crazy thing was though, he got the steal. The FBI putting his hand in the cup of the defense and getting the job done. Next play down, Tresman getting that bucket to go. And then here comes the fast break. The Pharaohs on the fast looking to get a layup, but Jordan cleans the board. No need for Windex to be on the rack. He's got the napkin and getting the residue all cleaned up. Knockdown jumper from the corner for Raleigh Egypt. Here comes Jordan. He's a bad man. 14-13. Raleigh Egypt up by one heading into the second quarter. Let's see how it mans out here. Here comes Brown. He had a big time night. 17 on the night for Tresman, and you count that bucket. Head to the free throw line to get the job done. Next play down, Tresman looking to go up, and he does finish off the glass with a layup, the right hand on the left side, and then the turnaround, Jay, for the big show him. What you got then, Mr. Chris Smith? I love your game, young fella. Nice turnaround, one-legged finish from inside the paint. On the other side, Farrells gets a jumper, and then Jalen Brown goes to the cup. That's a bad man. He's a big-time guard in the city of Memphis. But here comes Corey Griggs, the PG for the Farrells, going to the cup on that one, getting that basket to go. Same thing, next play down for Raleigh Egypt. Three in a row for the Farrells. This time, Diavante Williams inside of two minutes with the half left they're leading by nine and here's Tresman they get double team at the top but it leaves my man wide open at the top of the key Sean Williams knocked down a jumper from the wing excuse me then going to the cup on the other side is the Pharaohs Diavante Williams had a big night 23 points for Raleigh Egypt PG on the night that's an air ball rebound put back for Williams once again he's there to clean up the board Diavante Williams He's looking in the eyes of the defense. The defense is staring back, but look what this man got in store. Take it to the cup and end the half the right way. Big guard from Diavante Williams. They have the lead, 35-27. Let's see what happens in the second half. Hit it. I went from 240 pounds to 165, and that was all due to him, all his meal plans working out. Ever since then, now I'm bigger, I'm faster, I'm quicker, and I'm trying my heart. This is one of the best gauges to increase straight line running speed. Well, after about six months of working with Shabazz, we had eight kids doing that vault and two kids doing even a harder vault than that. We know what it was all in the first half, but the second is where the story is made. Let's open it up with Christopher McKnight getting a bucket to go off the backboard for the Pharaohs. Raleigh Egypt leading this one. Here comes Jordan trying to lock in, get the game going for what he has, and then going to the cup. Raleigh Egypt 
straight to the glass like no defense is even there. And then a pull-up jumper from downtown, missing that one off the front iron, rebound by Brown. He puts it back in for Tresman. One-handed, swing to the corner, Quintavious Bailey. Somebody better stop this guy, because when he heats up, everybody's in trouble. Mark my word, Chris Smith once again showing the range on the jumper. The point guard, freshman Williams, getting it off the inbound, missing it, getting the rebound on the other side as Raleigh Egypt. They take it down from coast to coast. Diavante Williams knocking down a jumper at the free throw line. Here comes Williams getting double teamed. Great defense by the Pharaohs and Diavante looking to slam, but finishes with the up and under this time on the offensive end. Next play down, number zero, kicking it off this time to Bailey. There is his favorite spot in the gym of Tresman. Get a hand up inside of 10 seconds and you let him let that thing ride. On the other side, the Bears turn around. Jay, one, let it finish. I like that. 53, 41, heading to the fourth quarter, fourth and final. Oh, big boy move. Jordan Johnson, I love your game, big fella. Keep slamming it down the way you are. Next play down, Tresman coming on the fast break. Go straight to the cup, finish with the left with about six minutes to go in the fourth. Here comes Diavante Williams, taking it between the legs a couple times. Oh my goodness, the ultimate finesse king goes to Diavante Williams. What a bad man to go around the defense up and under acrobatic finish on the other side to finish off the glass. I'm loving it, keep doing it. Back to back, big ones for them. This time he coming off that screen and knocking it down. I told you, he had 17 points and then he told the coach, no, nah, I'm tired, but it's time to ball out. Threes, please, from downtown Raleigh, Egypt. Big guard, Ricky Lofty, had a big time game in this one as well. For Raleigh, Egypt, he knocks down a three on that one. And then next play, Quintavious Bailey gets an easy one to go in. Next play, Christopher McKnight getting himself on the board after an inbound pass from down low. The fans from Raleigh are loving it. They see the score, and they see it's under two minutes to go. Corey Griggs and the Pharaohs decide that they got the dub, so they pull the ball out and let the thing wind out. Big time win for Raleigh Egypt. 70 to 60, 10 point lead and win for Raleigh Egypt over Tresman. This is a big time statement for them. You said who?